Hello, um, in this uh, video I'm going to give you a basic tutorial on how to draw a 3D object like a die in space claim. Now you're going to start with a new screen um, that will look completely blank like this. Now this is in sketch mode, see here sketch mode, this is like a 2D bit of paper. So if I start with a rectangle here, click rectangle and I click once and I drag it out. If I click again it will fix the shape but I'm going to actually type the numbers. I want 120 I'm going to type enter and then 120 again. Now I've got a square. Now at the moment you can't see it all, so I'm actually going to click up here on home and then it will have it all you know, in view. Now that's in sketch mode, as I said, sketch mode here selected. Now what I can do is make that a 3D object by going into 3D mode. So I'm going to click here and now I'm going to click pull. Uh, now what this will allow me to do is select this face. If I click on it, now listen carefully, as I click and drag up, I haven't let go of the mouse, you're going to hit the spacebar and you're going to type 120 and enter. There you've got a 3D cube now. Now if I go home again, it zooms in and I can see everything. Now on this die I'm going to add my holes to indicate numbers. If I click on a face, I'm now going to go back into sketch mode. Here, if I click sketch mode, now this is like a blank bit of paper on there, as it were. If I click plan view, it might make things easier to draw on. Now I'm going to draw a construction line. Okay, Click that. If I go one corner to the other, there I've got a guideline I can work with. And I'm going to click on circle. Now if I go in the center, see that triangle, the green triangle? That tells me it's the middle of the line. So if I click there and start dragging out my circle, I can now type the diameter, let's say 20 for example, and enter. That is a 20, di 20 millimeter diameter circle. Now if I click on this thing here, trim away, what, can I, what I can actually do is then click on lines I no longer want. If I click home mode, you can see how now that circle looks on one side. Now we're still in sketch mode, so sketch mode here. I need to go back into 3D mode. And now I can play around with this circle. What I'm going to do is I'm going to click pull. Now if I click on the surface, now I can click and drag this way or that way. Okay, go all the way over here if I wanted. Uh, now before I let go of the mouse, if I just type, if I hit the space bar and then type the distance, let's say six, that hole is now six millimeters deep. I'm going to show you again on this side. So click on a face. Now remember, I need to go back into sketch mode to draw something. That's like my blank bit of paper. If I click plan view, and uh, that makes it easy to draw on. I'm going to draw my construction line, uh, say here to here, uh, here to here. Now I need some guidelines uh, so I can get the sort of midpoint. So if I go on here, I've got a green triangle, I can go across to that green triangle, here again. Now what it's given me is a, a cross here, and I can use that as a guide to draw some more circles. So what was it again? 20, enter. Same over here. Uh, 20, enter. All right, again, uh, I'm now going to go into 3D mode. I'm going to click Home View, and I'm going to go on these faces. Click Now if I click Hold Control on the, key on the keyboard, and then click on that again, if I hold control, it lets me to select multiple faces. Now I'm going to push this in. Again, don't let go. Hit the space bar, and you can type in the distance, six millimeters. All right. Um, one final thing. These guidelines are a bit annoying. Now I could select them and press delete. I could use this trim away tool and just delete one at a time, or I can actually turn the object off if I click here, solid, just turn it off. And then I can select the guidelines, delete them using the delete key. And now if I click solid again, my cube is back. So there's a way of turning the object off if I want to avoid you, uh, affecting that. Right, give that a go, see how you get on, and try and do all the sides so that you've got a six sided die. Okay, uh, once you've figured that out, you should end up with um, a die that looks something like this. Um, as you can see on this side, I forgot to push in. So just once again, if you 
click hold control um, and you can select multiple faces uh, remember the uh, tool we're using is pull and just click and drag and then hit the spacebar and type 6 so that is what your die should end up looking like now um, this is just a regular cube and ideally what we want is to have um, sides that are kind of sloped now you can actually click on edges and you can actually pull these in as well and what will happen is it will curve like that uh, now to save time what you can do is you can actually double click and it will select an entire face if I double click again it selected that one now if I click and drag it will make that rounded and I could keep on going um, uh, so you can play around with that now let's say I wanted to curve all of the edges what I can do is hold control double click I could double click up here I could rotate my mouse my object hold control again double click and then the final one down here double click I've now selected every single corner now if I uh, click and drag in and again I hit spacebar let's say the distance is going to be for example five millimeters okay now every single edge is curved uh, now we're going to do the same to these edges here but rather than them being curved see they've got this option here I can actually chamfer so let me uh, zoom in and show you what that will do okay so here I've got this edge selected now if it were curved you'd end up with um, that sort of shape so I could do that or I could like I said use this chamfer option and now as I do it it gives me a sort of straight edge now if I click spacebar again let's set this as two millimeters for example okay now if I scroll out I could do it to this one so again I click on the edge and I start pushing in spacebar and then hit two now I could do that for every single uh, circle but I'm going to show you another little life hack that will save you some time if we do this one again I drag it um, sometimes it's tricky to do Let me try. I need to be at this angle spacebar 2 enter let's say I wanted to do this one the same what I can actually do is click on that edge and then if I click on this tool up to and then I click on what I just did this slope side it'll do it and then I can click on this one I can click up to and then just go to what I want to copy and do it you can do that for all kinds of faces so for example if I um, pull this one up that didn't work let's say I've got this face selected and I pull this one up and I wanted that to be the same what I could do is I could click on that face click up to and then click on the face I want to copy all right um, but anyway you can play around what I want to see is all of the six sides of the die looking like this so give that a go So once you've finished your die it should look something like this and you'll be able to render it uh, that's a, a process where you basically give it color and make it look like it has some texture um, the extension activity once you've done that is to try and draw uh, something like this this is a fidget cube and it's designed for for people to play with if they're fidgeters um, so you've got different sides of this object you've got like buttons um, wheels that go around you've got roller balls you've got these buttons that press in as well um, so uh, I've shown you how I would start it uh, for example here I've just done another cube um, I'm going to 3d mode so you can see uh, what I've started to do is I've got like a, a wheel there um, so I've projected that out uh, on the top I'm going to have my clicker um, I'll just show you one thing with, with pushing if I click on that surface and go into sketch mode uh, if I for example draw a line from uh, one corner to the other okay and then I go back into 3d mode uh, if I pull 
and I click on that surface, one thing it will let me do is actually remove the material. Remember this is a clicker, so actually the sides here are probably going to be a little bit rounded. Okay, so that might be something that goes up and down. Um, if I look back at the objects again, I've got like a, uh, like a 3D wheel object here. The easiest way to do that is if I've got a circle on the face, if I click on that and then go into sketch mode. Uh, I could then pull this up. Um, and remember, uh, that's a bit far, let me push it back down a bit further. If I click on the edge, uh, I could then round it to be a sort of dome shape. Okay, so what I want you to do is flicking uh, between sketch mode and 3D mode, uh, try and recreate a, a drawing of some sort of fidget cube like that. All right, best of luck.